In this video, I'm going to take a closer look at the Omega Extender Kit. We'll connect up a source, a display, some peripheral USB devices, and we'll get a simple system up and running. I'll then load the analyzer software, and we'll take a look at HD base T testing and debugging through the software. Now, what comes inside the box? You'll get the Omega transmitter, the Omega receiver, You'll get the power supply. Remember, you just power the receiver. The transmitter is powered over the HD base T connection. And you'll also get some mounting ears for simple installation in a rack, under a table, or wherever your installation requires. I have my Omega extender kit on the tech bench now, receiver on the bottom, transmitter on the top. Let's get started first by making the HD base T connection. That's the blue RJ45s. Connect a cable end into each one of those. Then on the receiver, I remember the receiver is going to be mounted up by the display where the transmitter is going to be uh, located near the presenter. So we'll take the HDMI cable, connect that from the display into the HDMI out port of the receiver. Then on the other side of the receiver, we're going to make some connections here as well. Remember this is by the display and I happen to have an Omega HDVS camera as well. And that is a USB based camera, so we're going to connect that to the USB input on the uh, Omega Extender receiver. Now uh, back on the transmitter for the presenter who's in the room, this is where we're going to connect in the laptop and the USB cable on the uh, laptop as well. So here is a USB cable. Remember the presenter is the host, so we're going to connect the USB cable into the host input there. The other end is connected to my laptop, and then also for my laptop I have an HDMI out. That's going to be connected into the output of the, uh, input rather, of the transmitter. Plug that in there. Now I have my transmitter and my receiver together. The last thing I want to do here now is apply power into the receiver. On the back side of the receiver is the power port, and we'll plug the power port into that. Notice now we have LED lights flashing on our device. Now that I have the Omega Extender Kit set up and I have my laptop connected to it, we can see on the display my laptop now shows up and the conferencing software that I'm using uh, is accessing my camera. You see that little thumbnail picture up here. That camera is connected over uh, from the receiver over the HD base T connection back to the transmitter and then I'm controlling it through my laptop because the transmitter has a USB cable connected into my laptop, the host laptop. So I have access to that camera, I can see the video, I can even control that and send commands to it as well. Now let's download and take a look at the analyzer software for the HD base T connection between the transmitter and the receiver. To get started, you'll need to download the analyzer software from the Atlona website. So visit atlona.com and navigate to the Omega Extender Kit landing page. Scroll down to the Resource tab, click on that, and look for the Analyzer software. You'll need to download that file. You'll need a Windows computer to do that. So once you get that file downloaded, go ahead and run the executable and get that installed on your laptop. Next thing you'll need to do is connect the Omega EX Kit to your laptop with a USB cable. To do that, you'll need a USB-A to USB mini type cable. Plug the USB-A side into your laptop and then into the transmitter of the Omega EX kit. Uh, find the firmware, the mini USB firmware port, and plug your cable into there. There we go. Once you have that connected, then we turn to the laptop and open up the analyzer software. Now open up the analyzer software. First thing you'll need to do is connect the correct port from your laptop to the extender kit that you've just connected with the USB cable. In my case here, that's COM port number six, and click on the connect button. This will now establish a connection between your laptop and the extender kit. Down in the lower right corner, you have a start button. Click on the start button. This will now enable uh, communications between your transmitter and receiver and measure them in the analyzer software. You can see here some basic information has come up. I can see the transmitter version. Um, I can also see my 
HD base T versions for both the transmitter and receiver here. Uh, notice here, you have the HDMI 5 volt. I can see the status of that. I have my HD base T link status and my hot plug detect, as well as uh, the speed on my, my TMDS clock and the estimated cable length that I have installed here. So right off the bat, I'm getting some really useful information on the installation. Notice I have a diagram here too of how my cables or how my RJ45 jack should be uh, pinned out. Uh, down in the lower left, you have a monitor button. If you click that, this will pull up the HD base T monitor and you can see a real-time graph of your different cable pairs to ensure that the data is transmitting properly across those. Clicking the close button will close that as well. So this tool is great for measuring the quality of service on that HD base T connection and helping you diagnose and troubleshoot uh, issues that may appear on an HD base T line. One final thing you can do, let me click the stop button here, is you can click on the D button tab at the top menu and from here you can actually run a analysis of your line and you can submit that to the Atlona tech support team and help diagnosing issues that you could run into on an HD based T line. Now you know a little more about setting up the Omega Extender Kit. To learn more about this product and all the great products in the Omega family, visit us online at atlona.com.